Thank you. There's a, a jump cut there. Um, we I had to get up for a second. Phone ring. I actually uh, I made a, a tweet this week about how the the future was promised to us in the 1980s, 1990s as being this you know year 2000 and beyond jetpacks, and the reality is is that. All we get is spam calls all the time. I knew it wasn't a spam call. It's why I went and got that that call. But and my jam was pretty much done. Um, but the I guess the the well, I always have fun doing these. And um, the thing that I I'm interested in in just chatting with you uh, quickly about. I mean, nothing's quick with me. But is uh, my hair is doing something funny there. The the thing that I I was thought about this week, I I listened for it in in songs now. It, it, I noticed it because my own in my own songs. Uh, that or a jam like that was a what you just heard was a jam, it was not planned or anything ahead of time. Um. I use a long delay line to to works as a looper for me. I I don't like loopers. They I th- I think when you're when they when they get going, you're stuck with them and and you you can't do much. So I prefer I've been working a lot with delay lines as my form of live improvisation and they work really well. Um but the thing that I was interested in is um, that every song has a a moment, and that moment is like what the song was sort of. It wasn't the the moments never really planned. It's kind of like this moment makes the song worthwhile in a weird way. It's uh, they they also call it in photography the decisive moment when it's the perfect moment to take the photo, you got them at the exact right, like a subject being photographed. You got them at the exact right time. But for me, it's, yeah, I guess it is something similar is that this, this moment develops really well. And I, it was funny. I was, I was listening to the, uh, chameleon by the headhunters on the radio a few weeks ago. And that one, that has a it has that moment in there, because the the head of of chameleon is I don't love like dun 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 dun. It's kind of corny, you know. It's not the it's it, and they would know it too. But what makes that track amazing is what the jams that unfold in the second and third and fourth halves. <laughs> like it it you think it's over and and they come back at you. 
And so that's a good example of, I wish I could just play it and, and, and cause it would drive home the point if you don't know the song, but it has these magical moments in them. And obviously that track is, um, is like the, one of the birth points of funky jazz, fusion jazz, acid jazz, um, with those jams, there's kind of like a string sound that comes in and it's, a and there's a bass line that goes, do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm not doing it justice, but that's what I'm, I'm getting at. If you know that track, um, but it's there, there's like this theory that I have, I think can, can really, it can really ex- expand out. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, activity, a lot of activity here. This, Hey, get over here. This theory can, can really, um, expand outwards and, one of the ways it does that is, um, like I was, you could apply it to your day that there's like sometimes this one moment that makes a day, I don't want to say worthwhile. I think every day should be worthwhile. Um, but I had that moment when I went to a cafe near an office I work at downtown and Originally, the cafe is in a boutique hotel, and and the first time I went there, and the my espresso was like five dollars. I was like, whoa, sticker shock. Um, espresso should in in our currency should be in the three dollar range. It's it's a you know like to have it five dollars is like whoa. That means all the other boutique drinks are probably seven or eight or something lattes so um originally i didn't like i was like ah whatever i'll just do it and then um i kind of realized that it's a really nice break in this this boutique cafe and it's it's kind of worth the five dollars because it's uh what what the that that um break represents is like five dollars it, like it's a nice place the amis the people are nice you kind of get what i'm saying is that like the five dollars really um uh, is almost i don't want to say priceless that's but that's what that mastercard commercial uh, slogan kind of refers i'm sorry i'm petting teddy so he doesn't keep barking at the door um that's what that that um mastercard uh, commercial was hint was kind of getting at is that some things cost like a vacation is it might cost people thousands of dollars but the the lifetime of memories is priceless but my point of this cafe story is that i had kind of trained myself to say yeah it's it's worth the the five dollars and um i was there uh yesterday and i and i i with my brain primed that this is like my little break it was uh it was one of those moments where it was really enjoyable (laughs) and it was one of those moments where it it kind of made the entire day and it was you know, I spent the five dollars. Had a very nice um, cortado. Cortado is my drink lately. But um, beyond that point of the day, nothing really topped it. Um, and and for me, it's uh, I and I spoke about last week. I go to bed a little earlier, so chances are for me to have a, a really good moment it has to be in the first for first half of the day I'm p- quite tired by the evening but they're there too i mean there's sometimes i'm able to practice a bit before bed some guitar and I, and and that can be the moment that decisive moment but the um the the real point though is not is not the coffee and the in, in the daytime, 
it's really about in music and listening for what you think is the this perfect moment of a song and i i bet you most of them are not they usually happen near the end of the song because that's where like a little bit of a jam might have happened a lot of 70s uh tracks i think is it the 70s 60s and 70s rock funk whatever you'll notice they actually uh they they fade out and it's really weird because they have some kind of jam usually at the end oh jazz tracks do it too they they have a jam, uh, jam at the end but they were faded out because the producer thought that this well one is that they they had limited time they had to fit music onto an LP and then also maybe it just the producer might have said like let's cut this and i sometimes always wonder like if we could get access to these recordings and like hear what was on what unfolded it would just be really amazing um so that's really all i wanted to to talk about here to wrap things up with this uh episode and jam but thank you for listening and yeah i have li- i'll put links in i have a patreon but i also have a coffee where you can buy me coffee just a way of support and yeah it's uh i love doing it and uh, I, I knew if I was going to show up to do this like today, not to show up in a way where, oh, I got to do my podcast. And I really, I really had primed myself to be open to possibilities with playing music today. And, and I'm, I think it was a nice little, just a short little jam. That's all I really need to do to keep, keep things moving, keep this going. So, um, thanks so much for listening and watching. And we'll see you next week. This is Elliot Feinberg, elliotfeinberg.com, patreon.com slash Feinberg. I spell Feinberg, F-I-E-N-B-E-R-G. And yeah, thank you. And we will see you soon. Okay, take care.